what I'm writing, bike wise. Um, it's quickly as well, I just wanted to show you, shout out for the Nature's Kitchen Coles. Sponsor, not sponsor, these are great. Uh, super low fat, only two grams per serve, so you got 18 grams of protein. So if you're on the on the uh, the Jesus cycle, a lot of protein, 80 grams of protein, only eight grams of fat for 80 grams of protein, plus about 60 times four carbs is uh, 240 carbs, 80 grams of protein, 490 bra bra. Anyway, let's get to the serious part of the video. This is my touring bike. Natasha's got a Pragma over here. The date is, what's the date today, Bones? We've got stage 11 of the Tour de France 2021, so it's July 8th. July 8th. All right, so this is July 8th, 2021. We're in Cairns, Australia. And this is the bike I grabbed um, to come up to Cairns. It's a bike that I've been riding most of the year, and I've just been used to it. I've got my other Pragma as well, but I had, some, some, had a smaller cassette, and I wanted to do some mountains here. I couldn't be banged around changing cassettes, so instead of changing cassettes, I just grabbed a different bike out of the shed. Thompson Post, I've got a Time, oh it's not actually a Time, it's a Alibaba saddle, goes good. Remember if you're going to use carbon rails, ideally be under 80 kilos. Well, these break very, very easily, so I don't really recommend carbon rail cells. And if you do use them, make sure you use appropriate saddle, a uh, seat post, sorry. The Thompson is okay because it's a like a vertical, you know, if the if the clamps come in like that, then don't, you've got to use a special little carbon post there, carbon head. But when you're using the clamps that go top to bottom, it's okay. Okay, video cut out. We've got absolute black champions in there. Got a 5034. Ideally, I'd run a 4630, but again, do you want to have time? So I didn't choose to have time to swap it over. Pedals have got some titanium Expedos. Got these off Facebook Marketplace. Thumbs up to the guy I got them from. Gave, gave me a great deal. They've been really good, super light. But again, if you're over 80 kilos, don't use titanium pedals. Yeah. Um, Rear wheel is a DT Swiss Mon Chasserelle. Front wheel is a Windspace Hyper 38. If you want, these, these are my favourite carbon rims ever. I do sell these. Go to windspace.com, use the code DUNA10 to get 10% off. They are my favourite wheel. The braking surface is really good. They're super light. They're as light as a Mon Chasserelle. Almost as light as my lightweights. And at a fraction of the cost. And you can find the spokes and hubs and you know, build up another rim if you do crash it or whatever. I've got a Cat Eye BM45 mirror. And they're really handy. We've got a tail fin rack as well, which is great for any carbon bike, rim brake bike, fits in your seat post there. Comes with a special skewer, so using panniers, not as aero, but I've got a 15 inch MacBook, I've got a K to four, so I'm not using bike backing bags as much. I do have a seat post bag on the back there though. Uh, up here we've got a Nog, a Nog light, been really candy. We've also got a Nog on the front as a bit of a backup, make sure when you set it up, it doesn't go in your spokes. Could destroy a fork in that. Shram red, um, carbon pads. Got a BBD bike bag, dude. Little feed bag in there. Keep your, your anabolics and stuff in there. Snacks. Brighton 330, my favourite GPS unit. Brighton 330. So I've had this for I don't know, three or four years now. It's fantastic. I love it. 36 hour battery life. Really rate it. The headset before I left. Got a good inspection. But that's about it. Got one bottle cage. I just, when I find water, I just drink a litre and a half and then chuck a bottle on there. Ideally, you should have two, but Natasha's got two on hers. Uh, what else can we say? It's about, I've got mountain bike shoes, obviously, tires. Got this Bond Traga out of the bin, patched it up. You know, we've got a GP4000 on the front, 25 mil. I think it's a 23 mil, 23, feels like a 23, 24. I like skinny tires for fast road riding. Uh, for 28s, I like for 28s for gravel, but I'm not doing this on a gravel trip. It might be a little bit of gravel, but mostly road, 99% road. And that's about it. So, so that's a 6.5 kilo bike, minus the racks. So a 6.5 kilo touring bike. And you can cover a lot of distance on the road quite fast, quite easily with something so light. Setup's a little bit aggressive, but for one, I can always flip that stem up if you want a more, more relaxed position there. Or I can just flip the hoods up as well. So that's the beautiful thing about this non proprietary, again, chucking it in the bike box, cardboard bike box. Just easy to chuck this bike in, you know, like. All you do is just loosen the stem bolts here, rotate the bars around, hook them under here, tighten them up, good to go, you know? Try doing that with hydro discs and freaking integrated bar stem combos, it's a nightmare. You know, same with the seat post, just boom, pull it out, make sure you tighten any bolts up so they don't rattle loose. And uh, you can put some bubble wrap on if you want, but fantastic ride to and from the airport, save hundreds of dollars taxi fares this year, hundreds of dollars in taxi fares this year, just riding the bikes to and from the airport. That's uh, amazing. Here in Australia, taxis ain't cheap. 
But it's only about the money, you know, it's about the environment. If, is there any way I can save on uh, fossil fuels and stuff? I'll, I'll generally do that. Perfects me life for the win. If you have any questions, let us know down below.